Go. Hello, this is George M. McDonald's. We will now be interviewing the two students from the University of Cairo who discovered this month. So, what was your discovery? Uh, we found a very big and huge mummy. It was wonderful and, and it was amazing. And it is an honor for us to meet you, to be here with you, and to share our discovery with you. But also, it is... Okay, uh, okay. Let's ask your founder about it. To and um, we went to the Forbidden Chamber and we saw at least 3,655 money. Dude, you got I was so interested. You counted them? I was so interested, I told you. Okay, that's enough. Okay, now we will go to interview the two historians. Uh, one is called Susanna. Muscovich and the other one, Ellen Gray, her assistant. Let's go. Oh, cool. Ellen, did you see this? My name is just her wife. Okay, here we are. Okay, I present to you the two students from the University of Cairo. Uh, this is. Uh, this is Ellen. Hello? Nice to meet you. Helen. What's wrong? What's wrong? Alan, she Alan, uh, I'm sorry. She shakes my hand. She shakes my hand. Okay. okay. Good. Good. She shakes my hand too. Okay. So, uh, are we going yes. to see this? Yes. Okay. Um, assistant, please follow our assistant. <laughs> so, have you visited it already? Excuse me. Have you already visited this? Yes. This. Uh, this uh, is the secret chamber. Uh, I think the students of the university will um, recognize this. Yes. Assistant? 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 I'm oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> it's a big moment. Students, you may enter. And we will stay here to wow, listen to your intro. Gosh, where did you find this? Whoa, this is so <laughs> out of life. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. I saw this. Right. Oh, that's what okay. I saw. That's so cute. All right, please leave us. Okay, so I have some questions for you. Yes. You must always okay. focus on the corner. Uh, with the two to three months, what they do is take out the organs, from the body, put the salt and spices in uh, the body, uh, then wash it and let it dry for 42 days. After that, they uh, wrap it up with long lining bandages, and that makes uh, a mummy, as you all know. Long lining bandages, they wrap it. Meanwhile, artisans make a gold coffin for the mummy or the body to rest in it. And that is how the process um, happens. Okay, that's very interesting. Thank, Thank you. But now, let's what? They, they, they modify those. Well, I think it's because they want the Perez. Uh, so, why is it that they modify gods? Well, I think because they so want to respect the Perez. And um, if, if they then rob them, after thousands of years, they would be brought and enslaved. And 
and um, um, and uh, I also think mummification um, developed greatly in religion. Okay. Um, one more question. How do you think it relates? How do you think it relates to the ancient Egyptians' life? Well, I think it relates to the Egyptians, ancient Egyptians' lives by um, religion. It has some kind of a, uh, relation with the religion, and uh, because they they believed in their gods, so um, that is called religion, and that's basically it. Uh, it has something. Okay. To okay. So now, Ellen, what do you think about it? I think you pause me and ask me to answer your question. Yes, indeed. Oh, uh, well, I think um, it affects the Egyptians' lives because um, the Egyptians want to be good and worship the gods because they want to have a good and respectful afterlife and they have to earn it by making good deeds. Well, I also wanted to add, I found something very interesting. Uh, in the secret chamber, I have discovered that the pharaohs were, uh, were mummified with all the possessions like clothes and um, jewels and cooking tools. I think that is able that, that they put that so that they are able to survive in their afterlife. Oh, that's very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. Thank you for watching and applause this brave guest that we have with us today and that taught us something very important about Yo ancient man. Egyptians. Good. You okay. rock, dude. Uh, I would like to say something. I think I'm going to bring these to the lab to execute this and especially uh, because uh, we didn't bring the mummy because it was removed and took into my laboratory. Uh, to analyze this. Um, excuse me once again and good job once again to the students. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen Pleasure. Oh, pleasure is mine. It was an honor. Dude, it was a super cool. I okay. loved it. Okay. High five. I really You rock. It. Thanks.